So over the weekend, the channel hit a pretty big milestone. 100 subscribers. Hey YouTubers, Christopher here, and on this channel I make weekly gadget and tech reviews, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And hey, if you'd like to know more about anything I mention in the video, I'll leave a link in the description below. 100 subscribers. 100 individual people have decided to subscribe to the channel, and I know that number doesn't seem huge when you compare it to other channels that have a thousand subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, or 10 million subscribers. But the way I see it is if 100 people gathered here in my living room, that's a lot of people. And I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel by subscribing, watching my content, and even following me on social media. Whether you've subscribed to the channel recently, or you've been a subscriber to the channel since I started, and everyone who's subscribed in between, thank you so much. It's been an amazing journey so far, and I hope that you will continue on this journey with me as the channel grows. And to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers, I wanted to do a Q&A video. So I reached out on social media for you to ask me pretty much anything and I will answer it here. Melanie Saunders asks, What's your favorite YouTube channel? Good question, Melanie. It's difficult to pick just one favorite YouTube channel as there are so many fantastic YouTube channels that I watch. One of my favorite tech channels has to be TechSmart. I love Keaton's mix of seriousness and humor. The way he talks to his viewers without getting too technical makes it easy for anyone to understand. And he reviews some of the most unique gadgets and tech that I've ever seen. As for a non-tech channel, I really like what Glenn is doing over on his channel, DIY Creators. Plus he makes some absolutely amazing furniture, some of which I'd like to try and make for myself. Two Minute Tech asks, What YouTuber or other personality most influences your style? Before I started my channel, I was watching channels like Nick Nimmin and Think Media with Sean Cannell, and they both have a huge influence on the way that I shoot my videos. They both reiterate the importance of starting your video with a hook to catch the attention of your viewer. Then you can go on to your intro, and then to the rest of the video. And if you watch the rest of my videos, you'll see that same layout. Aaron Wilhelm asks a three-part question. Why did you start creating? Favorite tech you've reviewed so far? And what piece of tech would you love to review? Aaron, I know this is going to sound cliche, but I started creating because I love tech. I had watched lots of other tech reviewers for a long time, and eventually I came across JD Tech TV. JD started his channel with just his iPhone, and as I watched more and more of his videos each week, I noticed the quality of his videos getting better and better, and this inspired me to go get the gear that I needed and just start shooting. My favorite piece of tech that I've used so far has to be the Google Home Mini. I use it every single day, and it's the most interactive piece of tech that I've reviewed. As for the piece of tech that I would love to review, I wouldn't narrow it down to just one certain piece of tech, but I would love to review a TV on the channel. Hisense makes some great budget options, and the LG 4K OLED W looks insane. El Jefe asks, What are your channel goals for 2018? I would love to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, and I would also like to get to the point where I can comfortably make two videos per week. Life of Tech asks, How does it feel to know that 100 people love what you do? Well, I still cannot believe that there are more people who love the content that I create than the amount of friends I have. But seriously, it feels like winning a contest or the lottery. Scott Sattler asks, What camera do you shoot all that tasty B-roll with? Scott, I shoot with the Canon M3 mirrorless camera and the 18-55 kit lens. It's a great little camera, it's small and compact, it shoots 1080p, and it does everything that I need it to. Kane Gary asks, What inspired you to do YouTube? Like I mentioned earlier, I came across JD's channel, JD Tech TV, and his story of how he started with his iPhone and just started making the best videos that he could with what he had really inspired me to go out and get a decent mic, and I used my wife's iPad, and I shot my first video. Another question from Scott Sattler. What software do you edit with? And what is your dream software to edit with? Well, Scott, I started off using Final Cut Pro, but then I switched over to Adobe Premiere because I really like how well it integrates with other Adobe programs, such as After Effects. 
As for a dream software I'd like to edit with, I don't really have one. Another question from Aaron Wilhelm. Kids? Wife? Kids to come? No kids of the human variety. I have a wife, but she would joke that I'm married to my Star Wars collection, and eventually. So that will do it for this one. If you didn't have a chance to ask your question, drop it down in the comments below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button, and consider subscribing for more weekly content just like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.